You coming to a European Parliament committee, so you shouldn't be surprised by this question. Have you ever terminated a contract with an EU member state? Yes or no? We can get the numbers later, but have you ever terminated one contract with an EU member state? We have terminated contracts with uh, EU member states, but to get into again, the exact uh, numbers. That's there. fine. Thank you. Next question. If a country does not give you a permission to audit, is that a reason for you to terminate a contract, yes or no? I stated before, if they do not allow us to do the audit and do not participate in the provide us with the information needed in our investigation, yes, that is a reason to terminate a contract. Has that ever been the case in the European Union? Um, not that I recall offhand, but I'd have to double check that. Okay, and we would very much appreciate next time you come back to the European Parliament Committee <laughs> that you have, can answer questions specific to the European Union. You said yourself that this whole issue of regulation should not be dealt with by a private company. I have to say I agree. What is the kind of regulation that you think we as politicians should put in place um, for this spyware to be regulated properly so that the burden is no longer on you? Yeah, I think the, the best thing would be some sort of so something similar to what maybe is done in the, with other uh, weapons where it's some sort of non-proliferation agreement where there is specific standards of what is required to be able to use this. Only countries that would sign up and agree to follow uh, those set of rules would be countries that would be considered as legitimate purchasers of this type of system and that this body would also have the ability to continue an ongoing audit of uh, how those countries um, are, are, if they're following what they signed up to and are following the rules that they signed up to. In that manner, you would have both the, the rule of law uh, aspect put in place and you would have uh, the audit aspect uh, in place. Uh, at a what should these piece. standards consist of? Yeah, I, I, again, I have my own personal opinions uh, uh, on this issue, and I, but I think it's something that exactly what politicians have to decide based on the basis of rule of law, international law, looking at what are the substantive and procedural uh, requirements for using uh, software. I think this technology, as I said, I think it is, is needed. Others have said it is needed. I think it is there to stay, and I think that it has to be looked at in a way that reviews the technology and puts in place safeguards that allow its use in the right cases but are punish those who use it in the wrong cases.